GOG extends refund policy to 30 days with no hard limits on playtime good for the community or ripe for abuse. In brief, GOG's recently updated refund policy might be the most generous in the industry. The voluntary update allows for a full refund up to 30 days after purchasing a game or DLC, even if you have already downloaded, launched and played it. Notably, GOG's FAQ on the matter doesn't mention any hard limits on the amount of time you can play a game before requesting a refund within the 30-day window. No matter how you slice it, a refund policy with this much leeway is ripe for abuse. GOG isn't blind to the fact, noting that it will be monitoring things to make sure no one is using it to hurt the developers that put their time and heart into making great games. As such, GOG reserves the right to refuse refunds in such individual cases. Elaborating on it a bit more, GOG said they trust users to make informed purchasing decisions and to limit the use of the updated policy only if something doesn't work as expected. Please respect all the time and hard work put into making the games you play and remember that refunds are not reviews. If you finished the game and didn't like it, please consider sharing your opinion instead. Also, please don't take advantage of our trust by asking for an unreasonable amount of games to be refunded. Don't be that person. No one likes that person. In comparison, Valve and Epic Games will issue a refund within two weeks of purchase, so long as you've logged less than two hours of playtime. Can GOG trust that gamers will do the right thing and respect the policy or will a few bad apples ruin it for everyone? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Masthead Credit, Controller by Nhangboon. Refund by Artem Somokvilov. For more on this story, visit the news article link.